Hello guys and welcome to our Counter-Strike Global Offensive Overwatch series. In this series we will try to catch some hackers. Here you can see it's still in the beta and some players got invited uh, to check and to look at some demos from the play. I don't know if everybody plays Counter-Strike of you, but you should try it out. I really enjoy playing this. And yeah, I would say we just hop right into it. First you have to download the demo, like the play where the player got reported. And yeah, take some time sometimes, but we will take our time. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool to have this because in this way many people can check a demo um, and see if somebody is legit or not legit if he's using hex or if he's griefing which means like he's team killing and stuff like that and all of that is for the purpose that the game gets better uh, most of it is in competitive I think every overwatch demo is from the competitive um, scene like 5 on 5 and as you can see the download is ready and we will start the review what do we got here if you're wondering what's on the bottom I don't know if you see it where you can see the FPS and stuff and you're right in it DE does too if anybody plays Counter Strike as I said and here you can see the suspect that's not the real name. Everybody got a um, new name, so we can't uh, yeah, relate to them and we don't know who it is. Here you can see his first action. X ray on right now, so we can check how far it is going, if he's using wall hacks or stuff like that. Yeah. But I think we have to give him some time because after like one minute you can't save somebody from shooting. Uh, I think if he would hack, he would have shot there maybe. Because he had clear sight. Problem is, you don't know which rank they are. Like, they're different ranks um, to get teamed up with some other people who are the same level as you and on the low levels of course um, many people just report another player because they are just too bad and another player is better than them but on the higher levels it gets sometimes a bit confusing because it's hard to differ between good player and hacker I think that was a legit shot. And his reactions are way too slow. He, he sees a player and doesn't doesn't shoot at the first moment. So. Shot the smoke. Oh, okay. I mean, it was through the wall, and it was through the smoke. seems to know that somebody is there. Yeah, okay, it, it gets a bit... Ah, I don't know how to call it. Tricky right now. I mean, the AWP is the perfect... perfect cheater weapon, I have to say. I mean, it could be that he's a bad player and he is just hacking like he's using ESP where you see like hitboxes. Every part of the body has a hitbox. Oh, that was a bit fast and he saw the movement there. I, okay, now it's getting very, very suspect, suspicious. If he hits that shot right now through the smoke. Okay. I mean, in the first round, he wasn't very uh, sus 
suspicious, but right now he keeps getting more and more what he does. Like he's aiming straight at the wall. If you see pros, they're doing reaction shots. Like when when they see something, they instantly press mouse one. And then, oh. But he's not a pro player, and he, he seems to be like nearly pre-firing spots. He knows where the players are. But I'm not sure yet. I mean, there are some some situations where I say, okay, seems a bit suspicious. But okay, as I wanted to say, there's like different types of hacking. I mean, all of you might know the aimbot, where you just uh, have a program which directs you on the body, and you don't have to do shit except for pressing one. Most of the time, it has this integrated as well. You don't have to do anything. Um, then there is a ESP or wall hack, where you can see players through the wall or with ESP, you see the different hitboxes, like the head got one, the body got one, the arms and legs got one, and you see they, they get like green when they are visible, they are red when they are not visible, and you just have to shoot. Then there is a trigger bot, which has been Comes close to the to the aimbot, I would say, and yeah, some different hacks like speed hacking and stuff like that. But so far, I wouldn't say we are convinced that he's a hacker. There were some tricky, tricky shots and some very crazy s moments, but. Because there's a thing, um, it's like 10 people get one demo and uh, most of the people say one thing, this gets decided. If there are 6 people who say, okay, he's cheating, then he most likely gets banned for it and yeah, he's caught at in hacking. And if most of the people say no, he's legit, then nothing happens to him. Yeah, the ban results in one year ban, like that was previously, but it got uh, changed to a lifetime ban. So as soon as he gets caught, or as a player gets caught, he can't play. Oh, it's it's very confusing because in one round he does some fishy shots and then all of a sudden he doesn't. Because the round before I would say there was nothing. Maybe he just triggers it, it on and off. I'm not sure. And it's a hard decision. Very hard decision. I mean as it seems the, the enemy team isn't good. So, you could say that for him, but that doesn't mean that you aim through smokes, that's pointless. Okay, I didn't even, s even see him coming through the, uh, around the corner and he just shot. I mean, every hacker wants to hide his hacks, if he hacks. So you just aim at spots where you know nobody's coming and stuff like that. That... That was very crazy. And since there are three pl players of his team alive, he isn't forced to do anything which will uh, give him away, something like that. I mean, I would say the highest thing could be wall hack. Okay. But I mean one got shot in there, so they knew he was would be coming there. But let's see what happens to the last guy. To Iguana. Okay. 
that's a very 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 hard decision but I would say this might be vision assistance okay you have different um, categories here which you have to press insufficient evidence or evident beyond a reasonable doubt which means is he hacking or not is he using this special cheat or not first one is aim assistance like aimbot triggerbot maybe here you can see automated targeting recall reduction or elimination I would say that was insufficient because there was nothing like he's hitting crazy crazy shots he shouldn't hit the point is he was using an AWP and you can't say stuff like that because mostly you can see something like that with an AK or an M4 okay we go to the next step which is vision assistance just as vision through walls or smoke flashbang effect reduction or elimination etc I don't know if I'm right it's just my opinion and maybe the other nine people say another uh, another thing but I would say he was using a vision assistance because he hit shots where the reaction time was way 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 too short the shot on short where he was on a spot and he just shot when the enemy wasn't even around the corner that could be um, go TV lag because in game you have another tick rate which um, means that the, the your vision is uh, refreshed more often as in the thing we saw right now it's like four times higher or something but I click this right now because it was a bit bit yeah suspicious I would say then you have other external ac assistance which means like uh, speed hacks or something you can see it here speed hacking automated uh, jumping scripts upside down views and stuff like that you didn't use anything of those and griefing which means um, if you just get away from keyboard at the round begin or yeah in the game at all or if you shoot teammates you can see it here deliberately interfering with or trying to damage or be damaged by teammates but he didn't do that neither so I would say we submit the verdict right now uh, I mean it wasn't 100% but it was pretty high so I will just submit that the verdict has been received perfect so guy if you're watching this by any yeah circumstances don't be offended if you weren't cheating it was a bit fishy at some points hope you enjoyed this I think this might be coming more often in next weeks or months maybe and I will play on my own as well and show you some stuff like that maybe some frag movies maybe some whole gameplays and we will see us in the next episode so see you guys and bye bye